what is immigration really? I mean, how does it affect the people around us? How does it affect immigrants directly? Uh, I myself am not an immigrant, but I know many people who are. That's why I decided to do some interviews revolving around this. I decided to interview my Ooh. aunt, who is originally from China and has lived here for 10 years now. Her name is Wu Shi Mei, or I to be called Jane. She had many different perspectives on many different issues, and I found her opinions very eye-opening in the difference of cultures. I think this is a very important question to answer. I mean, more and more immigrants come to each country and each city every single day, and we need to understand them more. Their opinions and views and their lifestyles aren't as mainstream as they should be. Their opinions matter just as much as any others as citizens of each country and city, and the better we understand them, the more we can make changes to help them, like creating an easier transition from their homeland. Uh, this is something I talked about with Jane, and I think that it's very important to analyze more. We talked about many different things, but she did give her point of view on why there is such a big cultural difference. Of course, obviously, food is a huge difference. And the uh, point of view with politics is also very, very different. I think if we want to dig in this kind of subject, it can go three days, <laughs> not ended. After this, it made me wonder how she finds herself associating with art culture, if she has trouble or not. It made me think of food, but it also made me think about her interactions with other people and if she can find people that are, can relate to her easily. This is what she had to say mainly about food. Wow, 10 years ago and now is a totally different story. 10 years ago, it's not very easy to find something that I can enjoy as very, um, how to say, uh, very origin from China, that type of taste, uh, that, that type of taste is not easy. Uh, but there is, compared, like I said, because Montreal is still a big city, so I still find, but it's not as good as now, five, uh, I would say four, three, four years ago. Suddenly, I don't know why, it's have a lot easier access. I was glad to hear that it wasn't all bad for her and that it has been improving in her eyes. I think that this is a step in the right direction, but that we're not exactly done yet. After mentioning the future, it made me think about her kids and what she expected for them after being accustomed to the Canadian culture, but still maybe having to learn the Chinese culture and if Jane was afraid that they might not be able to associate with it as well. She brought up some very interesting points. Of course, as a mom, I always want my kid to experience more stuff, especially where they come from, because everybody needs to know their loo, to their past and whatever it is, to build a very strong base and then grow up into a mature and uh, multicultural or whatever, uh, a smart person, right? In conclusion, Jane was a very good interviewee because she provided many different insights on the Canadian culture along with the Chinese culture. She was also very open-minded, which allowed me to get some answers that I really wasn't expecting. She gave her opinion on the immigration system and the cultural differences, but she said that many people may have different perspectives. But this is a good thing. I think that different perspectives are needed for this conversation. But she also wanted to mention that her main view is a better person for it. She also wanted to mention that she can see that there's changes that are developing, but that they will need some time. So she is hopeful for the future. But she still finds it difficult to get used to as she's known China and as her home for her entire life. And the change is still a bit harsh. This is a topic that should be explored more and hopefully will be explored more in the future in a larger scale conversation as I still think there needs to be a lot of progress made to help our immigrants and future citizens. Hopefully though this video will change that.